Hey everyone, this is Darren here from Rogue Aquariums. Now I know it's been a while since I last uploaded my video on the 600 gallon system here. Uh, no excuses, but uh, you know, it seems like life passes us by. We wind up getting busy personally and professionally, but um, I will do my best to try to upload videos a, a lot more regular than what I have been doing on here. But uh, now that I got that out of the way, uh, what I wanted to talk about is the uh, lighting system on the 600 gallon tank here and what I'm using, uh, how I constructed it, put it together, and the lighting that I'm using right now. I have swapped out a few things on here and I'm doing some experimentation with the lights, but uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it. So let's go ahead and take a look. So this light rack here slides all the way across here, over into here, so I can have a lot more flexibility if I have to I get under the tank. As you see, it's uh, passing my, uh, my garage door right here, so, um, we had to do a little bit of a, a little bit of engineering here when we went ahead and put this together, so this would turn out well and not uh, impede the garage door opening up all the way. So instead of uh, having a whole bunch of wires hanging all over the place, I contacted a friend of mine who's an electrician, and uh, he told me he could go ahead and put a bunch of outlets up here, and then we've go ahead and numbered them from one to one to six, um, because I am running different lights here, and I'll tell you that in just a minute. I didn't want to have a whole bunch of wires hanging all over the place, so we went ahead and put these on here. Um, they open up, and they have a seal right in there, so a lot of salt creep won't get in there, so it keeps them, keeps them dry if I have to go ahead and use the rest of the outlets on here. Now what we did is uh, construct this pull system right here. So basically, it's we uh, wired it right into here and down here. And I'll show you the junction box in a minute. Now I did make the mistake when I did hang this uh, lighting rack right here. I made it so the uh, braces are actually too long. So what happened was the tank was sitting down only about nine inches off the top here. So I wanted a little bit more flexibility on the system so I could go ahead and get to it easier as well as slide it across. So right now we're sitting about 13 and a half inches off the top right here of the tank. So it makes it a lot easier to work on it if I have to go ahead and to pull anything out, um, which is a lot more easier than what it was before. And also what it makes a lot easier is when the tank was fabricated, these portholes here are, are, are just massive. I think they're about 34 by 34 inches. So it makes it a lot easier to go ahead and get in here. And uh, the good thing about these is they're, uh, they're chamfered around the corners here so you won't cut your hands up, which a lot of acrylic manufacturers don't do. All right, looking down the middle here, we're taking a look at these uh, Radeon Gen 5 Blues. And I've got four of them down here, right in the middle of the tank. And really happy with also, too, is uh, how these turned out. Now, uh, Clear Fabrications constructed these light mounts here. Um, did a really good job. These are made out of black cell cast acrylic with these uh, aluminum spacers in between. And it just gives it a nice aesthetic look. And I'm really pleased with how that turned out. Now running down on the sides right here, we're on the right, I've got two four foot T5 fixtures right here. I'm running Coral Plus and Blue Plus right here with an eight foot Reef Bright XHO right down the side right here on the right and on the left. So I like the T5s, they give me a nice blanket of lighting all the way down and uh, I did take the T5s off the middle and like I said replaced it with the Gen 5s here so um, these uh, reef brights here these LEDs are probably about uh, four or five years old so they're uh, they're still got a nice little color pop to them and I enjoy them but uh, I really do like the uh, the T5s running down the each side and uh, how they do provide a nice blanket of light I'm pretty happy with those Okay, here's my menagerie of wires here. It's not too bad. I try to make it as uh, tidy as possible, but uh, when you have a lot of wires, you don't really have much choice of where you're gonna mount them, but uh, you can kind of see here going across the across the tank. Now for the, the Reef Bright LEDs, I went ahead and uh, purchased this uh, uh, LED power supply made by Snappy, so it uh, really helped right there. But anyway, when I had to run the wires down, we came down here and uh, the electrician went ahead and put this junction box right here and we uh, numbered all the wires so I know there's a ton of wire up here but uh, this was the most feasible thing to do here on the system so I was really happy how it turned out and we went ahead and uh, mounted a, 
a few more outlets now I've, those are almost taken up right here with everything else i got so um, i went ahead and put five 20 amp breakers in the garage that way it was uh, running separate power from the house because if i wound up plugging everything else in here there's no way that the, the uh, house could sustain these lights here on uh, two 15 amp breakers in the garage so we went ahead and uh, and uh, put these in now standing back right here now the good thing about this 8020 aluminum extrusion it's kind of a it's kind of like an adult erector set you can go ahead and build it as you as you uh, want and uh, you can customize it and uh, fit it to your liking and and everything so that's one thing I really liked about it and uh, uh, not the cheapest but uh, you know you get what you pay for and this is I had to come up with something for the size of this uh, project here and uh, I'm really happy like I said and how it's turned out so far this is kind of my view here coming out of the house into the garage this light rack is is large here, but uh, like I said, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And one thing I didn't tell you guys is that uh, on the T5s right here, I change these bulbs out once a year uh, to give them best maximum efficiency as possible. Because I know a lot of people probably don't change their lights out that that often, or maybe once every couple of years. But uh, I talked to uh, Reef Bright, and they suggested changing up once a year to get the most effective lighting out of these bulbs as possible so that's what i do and uh so far i'm really pleased with them all right guys that about sums it up for the lighting system so far but like i said you know i'm really happy with the radians in the middle i've got them at i think about 60 62 percent i'll have to go ahead and check i've increased them really slowly since i put them on i made a mistake on the lights and i put them on acclimation mode i didn't put them on a proper template the lights reverted back i believe to 100 percent and I fried some of my corals. Well, at least I fried seven or eight SPS. My, my LPS took a beating, but they've recovered back from it. My mistake, you know, nothing else. Uh, so that was my fault right there. But uh, I'm slowly increasing these lights. I've had them at 20% since the first week in February. And now I've said I've got them about 60 right now. So, and like I said, I like the blanketing of the T5s on, on both ends of it. It gives me a nice even spread of light throughout the whole tank and that's important to me you know from the uh, corals on the bottom of the uh, the sand bed up to the top and i'm running i think about i think about 300 i have to go ahead and check my par levels on the top here i want to bring it up to approximately maybe four and keep it right there so they'll do that slowly here um, really happy with how it turned out so far you know a, a light rack and the lighting on this magnitude it, it takes a while to put together it's not cheap but uh, you know, you get what you pay for, but uh, I've tried to utilize this as best as I can. And I'll probably wind up getting some more supplemental lighting um, in the future here. We'll go ahead and have to see how it goes. But uh, for now, I'm pretty happy with it. Feel free to leave your comments down below, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. I'll, I, I look at everyone's comments and I will get back to everybody. And uh, I appreciate you joining me with this. And I will promise to upload my next video a lot sooner than the last one. Anyway, guys, take care and happy reefing.